that's him. That's the one. I'm Deacons. I was uh, thinking about maybe setting up some kind of trust fund for my kids' educations. Oh, I see. Well, um, why don't we have a seat and talk it over? Brooks, do you have a piece of paper and a pencil? Says it, Mr. Deacon, you want your sons to go to Harvard or Yale? He didn't say that. God is my witness, Deacon. <laughs> Deacon just blinked for a second. Then he laughed himself silly, and afterwards he actually shook Andy's hand. My ass. Shook his hand. <laughs> I near soiled myself. I know all Andy needed was a suit and a tie and a little jiggly hula gal on his desk. He would have been Mr. Dufresne, if you please. Making a few friends, huh, Andy? I wouldn't say friends. I'm a convicted murderer who provides sound financial planning. It's a wonderful pet to have. The following April, Andy did tax returns for half the guards at Shawshank. Year after that, he did them all, including the wardens. Year after that, they rescheduled the start of the intramural season to coincide with tax season. The guards on the opposing teams all remembered to bring their W-2s. So, Moresby Prison issued you your gun, but you actually had to pay for it. Damn right, the holster too. See, that's tax deductible. You can write that off. Yes, sir. Andy was a regular cottage industry. In fact, it got so busy at tax time, he was allowed a staff. Hey, Red, can you hand me a stack of 1040s? Got me out of the woods shop a month out of the year, and that was fine by me. 